Let's go. Let's go. I just can't say that seriously, man. Dude, when you get a win, you say let's go sincerely. I need to play more PUBG with you let's guys, but... Go. <laughs> Not on camera. I'm not in that crew, but I need to play more PUBG with the friends. You should start like a a competing battlegrounds crew, man. This like, I got, who am I gonna pull like into you, that? You and Sinvicta and Rob and uh... can we get Austin as well? No, that's not fair. <laughs> He's just in both. Austin. Austin's our ringer. <laughs> I'm going down. To, I'll get the ones in the bottom floor. All right. Um, I'm just gonna check in at roll call. Like Sinvicta always wants to play more battlegrounds. Here. Rob might not want to play more Battlegrounds because he's playing so much uh, Madden, but... Yeah, he's playing Madden Story Mode. He, you know, I, I respect that. If they had NHL on PC, I'd be over it in a heartbeat. Probably not streaming it, but playing the crap out of it. Yeah. For sure. we, we don't need combs. Molten Plastic is set. Done. Literally we just, need just All talcum. that is it. All we need is talcum powder. Don't, you don't need done. duct tape of any variety. No, we're done. We have everything we want. With the exception of talcum powder. They've got to I feel like they have to guarantee like one talcum powder drop per, per day. day. Yeah. Like, come on. Well, the desks are talcum powderless. We do have those two desks that we have to get into. Right. Uh, uh, with a little friend, a little help from your friends. I guess there's no reason for us to assume that those wouldn't have uh, talcum powder. Or well, they, no reason to assume that they wouldn't respawn every day. Right. Every desk should respawn every day. Okay. No talcum powder here. Do you want to check out those desks? Yeah, let's go. <laughs> sure, let's Sorry. go. No, no, no. Uh, let, me, let me check this desk first. Man, this, well, I have to go to my job in a second here, so. Well, so do I. I don't know about you, but some of us have to work for a living, and sometimes we have to plan for the desync, so. <laughs> Listen. Here. Uh, no, I'm going to my job. You, you, I'm I'm, always... No, I'm going to my job too. All right, all right, all right. No problems then. All right. Give me this. We're model prisoners, man. There's no suspicion whatsoever. Dude, I'm, I'm having a great time on the job right now. I mean. Let me know if there's end up being desync. I'll pause it. Fair. Officer Bonin, get out of here. It's a great name, though. It's a absolutely the best name. All right, job's done. I kind of want to like knock him out because he just said I can't wait to get out of this joint. Uh, <laughs> really, Officer Bonin? You feeling okay, buddy? <laughs> Is this a prisoner wearing a, a guard's uniform? All right, I, I am. I am now done my job. Okay. All right. Uh, back to talcum powder land. So we gotta go. I think there's one right here. Is it? Is it? Uh, yeah, this is it. I think you can actually open that, and the guards don't care. All right, I'll check them. I'll let you in though. Oh, thank you. Talcum powder. Come talcum on, powder. Nothing here. Two batteries. See you later, Mathis. <laughs> Just leave me in here. Get me out of that joint. There's, uh, in the library, there's another desk. I checked that one uh, already. It's nobody's desk. Yep, it's true. Um, okay, well, we can't make it in there. Yeah. Yeah, they, we've checked everything. Uh, I guess purchasing and beating people up. Right, okay. Amerson, no we're talcum. We're so close. Payton. Can't, won't speak to me. <laughs> is he selling anything? No. Only like right. two people here are selling anything. Yeah, and they ro it does rotate every few minutes, but uh Okay. I'm gonna try seeing what these jobs are. Because sometimes the fetch jobs will be like, go get me talcum powder. Yeah, that's and what I was you, thinking as well. Yeah, but... and you just grab them and then you just quit the, the mission. It's a ruthless world, man. It's a prison. These wicked games we play. Oh wicked games that we play. <laughs> Uh, would you kindly track us down some fresh instruments? Absolutely not. <laughs> Casey, Six sorry. Four. No talcum, dude. These people don't sweat. You're on an oil wow. rig in the middle of the South Pacific in my head, Cannon. 
<laughs> and yet you don't sweat? You don't need talcum powder? You kind of get the roll of foil I left at my desk. <laughs> you beat him up. Like, Dude, I need... <laughs> I see everything, says the police officer. Sticks. <laughs> I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be safe. I'm gonna get out of this. I have faith. I'm gonna follow. Hey, there you go. Get in. Get in. Get in. You good? Let's see what happens. <laughs> oh, turn out the lights. <laughs> Must have just been the wind. Nice job. I'll come hide with you. You wanna tell each other ghost stories? <laughs> Spooky ghost stories. Uh, once upon a time, there was a spooky ghost. He... Man, I'm sick of those stories already. Oh, I don't got ghost stories right now, man. Where I just got alien... Going? alien stories is all I got. Once upon a time, there was a spooky ghost alien. <laughs> named Gozer the Gozerian. It's like a Ghostbusters reference. It is indeed. I, I, I appreciate it. You have a Ghostbusters fan? Ah, uh, yeah, I, I, and people hate the second one. While I don't think it's anywhere near as good as the first one, I enjoy the second one. I you? have not seen Ghostbusters 2 since I was about eight years old. It's probably been like close to 10 years for me, but I still like remember it somewhat. And I remember never not, like never hating it. Yeah. Well, it has like the Vigo. Vigo is a great character. Yeah. It's a, it's fun. I, have I did seen, not see the remake. That's what I was going to ask. No, I did not see the remake. I just uh, did not look like something I would be enjoy. It was like a it was a political thing. You're like, oh, see, I'm trying to avoid that. Like, no, no it's I'm not, not going to go see this because it, you know, it's, it's, got, it's got the bit. women's. It's going to it's got the women's in it and I don't want it. No, I just it's just it did not look like it was a. Uh, the kind of comedy that I was looking for in my Ghostbusters movie. Mm, I, yeah, the kind of comedy. I see what you're saying, Matt. <laughs> this is the kind of comedy. It looked too slapsticky for me. While there was some slapstick in the original Ghostbusters, you know, the whole thing about the Ghostbusters is that they're, like, mostly unlikable, but yeah, they're funny. Okay. I could see it. Well, in that one, it didn't look like that was the point. To be honest, like, it's sacrilegious, but uh, I really like... It's sacrilegious to say on the internet, anyway. I really like Paul... Feig, who is the uh, director? Well, he's done some good movies. I I still think Bridesmaids is like very right. good. Yeah, no, he's done good movies in the past. Yeah, I, I don't want to blame him at all. I like seen I it also, you seen. never know. Like yeah, I haven't seen it either. So, but if, if if it's as bad as people say it is, like you don't know what kind of Hollywood garbo is happening behind the scenes that make it difficult for a movie to be as good as it could be. Yeah, I'm also like, I really do not care about remakes at all. Like, it, it's yeah, very I'm tough to get me with to watch you. a remake. Unless, if the original came out in, like, the 1930s. 1950s. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then I'll watch. But, like, if, if the original came out in, like... Especially if it came out within my lifespan. There's no... You can't convince me to watch it. I'd rather just watch the original. If the original right. was so good... Like, you, you don't need... If it was so good that you want to make a remake, then I have no reason to watch the remake. Is my opinion. However, um, have you seen Let the Right One In and also Let Me In? No, but I hear they're great. Both very good. Both very I have good. not seen them. I am a big baby when it comes to uh, horror movies. They aren't really that very scary. They're a little unsettling, perhaps. Why did... Okay. So everybody hates me, so they punch me all the time? I guess so. Uh... I just have to remember not to accidentally bring my mace into the shower. <laughs> Important. I can't believe we're still looking for talcum powder. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Codex uh -oh. has joined the game. Codex has left the game. I forgot to make it private. <laughs> Codex, get out of here, dude. <laughs> uh, if I make it private, I have to pause, but that's fine. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna do it. Okay. What time is it on your on your thing? Fifteen twenty-six. Mine turns 1530, 1531, 1532. You're like maybe one second ahead of me at most. All right, let's hope it doesn't bother. It doesn't bother. Hey, oh my God. I tried <laughs> to buy something from someone and then he <laughs> smacks me. That was really good. Ow. What do you expect, lobster? Like, it's actually becoming chaos in here. I forgot who I was attacking. 
I think it was this guy over here. It is now, at least. No. He did it in front of a camera. Oh, Jesus. Job time. Uh, job time. And it's job time? Yep. Job time. <laughs> What's your heat? Uh, Only 19. Okay, okay. That's fine. Don't do it. You have a job to do. Dude! You don't need wait, furniture. Wait, wait. I'm very anything. confused. The arrow's pointing in a different direction. Oh, yeah. The arrow, It sometimes you just have to memorize the prison, basically. Sometimes the arrow is just, it has a mind of its own. Yeah. Don't tell me to move it. I'm on my way. God dang, man. Emerson, when are you going to start carrying talcum powder? It's supply and demand. I've been asking for it for I a long time. I would pay 250 time. for talcum powder right now. Yeah, I would give you everything in my pocket for the, like, one talcum powder at this point. It's like just gold give it to went me. out of business or something. It's, well, we're just in the middle of the ocean, man. Maybe we, there is a finite supply of... <laughs> That's supplies. valid. We got to wait for, like, the airplane to come in or something. Uh, you got your job? Do you use talcum powder? Me, like, in real in, life? In IRL, not, yeah. Not really? Me neither. I feel like there's a it's lot like, of things like my parents had in their medicine cabinet that I don't understand the use of. I think I used talcum. I can't remember. I used a sir. Not to get too IRL personal, but yeah. when I worked in the restaurants. You get sweaty. Chafing, yeah, I understand. You get, get sweaty. You powder up, you know, some of your areas. So when I was running, uh, I bought, uh, oh, what is it called? It's, it's a skin lubricant. Uh -huh. I don't think it's, I actually think it's meant to not be used for, you know, lewd things because then it could be cheap. Instead, they made right. it a special product for runners and uh, so they could jack, so the, they price could jack the price up for a smaller market, right? Right. I believe it's called Body Glide. I definitely okay. like <laughs> nice. I would put some Body Glide on, on my thigh region before I ran. And otherwise, you know, you come back in and you're like, oh. It's like my underwear was made out of sandpaper or something. <laughs> right. Everything's red and yeah. sore and itchy and gross. You walk like a cowboy for the next 24 hours. Yeah. Yeah. It got to that point for me for like, uh, you know, doing waiter work, especially in like a, a restaurant like Cheesecake Factory that's, mm. you know, way busier than a lot of other places. Um, needed, needed that, needed that, you know, a little special body care. Take care of your body, everybody. It's yeah. fine. Right, let's see what you got for a quest. You want me to bully Casey? No, I'm turning that down. Sorry, man. You ever uh, eat the chilaquiles at the Cheesecake Factory? I don't know if I've ever had the chilaquiles. I only say that because I went to the Cheesecake Factory one time in my entire life and I had the chilaquiles. Did you like them? I thought they were pretty good. I will. I think I've said this before, like on video with you or at least to you before, but Cheesecake Factory is one of the few like the only chain restaurant that I've worked at that I will vouch for because they don't microwave anything. Mm. Like none of it is uh, like Applebee's style or Uno style where a lot of it gets thrown in the microwave yeah. and served to you. It's all delivered in the morning and it's all cooked and made from scrap in the morning. The only microwave in the entire restaurant is in the dessert area where they have to heat up like brownies or something. Okay. I mean, that's fair. Yeah. Yeah, their food is always good, but the other my issue with Cheesecake Factory is their portion sizes are too big. They're enormous, yeah. I They're remember that. Gigantic. I think, like a full pasta, like a, a a pasta meal, like four cheese pasta, is a box and a half of pasta <laughs> for one person. Oh, it's I ridiculous. my problem is that the only time I'm ever in like eyesight of a Cheesecake Factory is the one that's right across the street from the convention center at PAX. And yeah, it is PAX, right? Always yeah. the world's busiest restaurant on planet Earth. I would hate to be a server during PAX, oh, but also probably love the money at the end of the day. You're probably making bank, but you are. I mean, I just... you're also stressed. One of your one of your friends is like, "Hey, where do you want to eat? Oh, let's go to the Cheesecake Factory." You're like, "Oh, it's gonna be like <laughs> two an hour, hours. two hour wait." Yeah, yeah. Even at the Cheesecake Factory that I worked at, normally every weekend it was an hour and a half wait wow. at like the busiest hours. I always was like crazy. in my hometown, it was like that for Denny's of all places. Denny's. Yeah. Why Denny's? So like, you know, good old fashioned breakfast, nice portion sizes. Are you trying to beat this man sitting in a chair? Yep. Nope. Oh. <laughs> Socks. We cannot get talcum powder to exist. save our lives, doesn't man. Exist. It just doesn't. It ain't happening. I still think we should wait one more day. Because uh, if we get it tomorrow, then that we can do like the great escape. 
Yes. One episode. I agree. After. I agree. All right, we got roll call in bedtime. No. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go take my bed dummy out of bed. The secret for for Pax eating though is always like walk down the main thoroughfare and then turn down a side turn, street. Yeah, usually turn left. It'll <laughs> there's so many times like the first couple of Paxes where like every restaurant is like an hour wait and then you turn left down one street and there's just like a, a restaurant with like seating for 200 and they're like, oh, we can yeah. get you in right away. It's crazy. That's where we found like the elephant bar. The, or the elephant and castle, which is, yeah. it's it's not a well-kept secret anymore. It's getting it pretty It was busy. for like the first year that we were there. It's the dang uh, the Twitch streamers, dude. Now that every Twitch streamer is is going to PAX and I, I encourage them to do so, um, it's, it's crazy busy. It's all purple shirts in there. Yeah, bleeding purple everywhere. It's messy. Okay, all right, I'm in bed waiting for you. <laughs> Join me. <laughs> you can't come in here. I'm sorry. It's Knocking locked. on heaven's door. <laughs> all right, here we go. Last day. Possibly. I believe. I would still put your bed dummy in your bed just in case. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I haven't done that for a day or two. Right? Juicy worm. Oh my god. <laughs> There's a lot of desks. Did you check this one? Not yet. All right. Nope. Nope. I feel like weirdly competitive about it too. I'm like, I'm, <laughs> I'm gonna be the one to get the talcum powder. Just get it, man. I don't, you listen, do what you gotta I'm do. I'm gonna dude. be the one to get the talcum powder. All right, I'm gonna go start checking the desks downstairs. All right, all right. I will do the other side. Cause we gotta get it early so we can beat up purple purple key card cop. I hope the boat doesn't need repairing. <laughs> Ugh. And the game auto saves, so it's not like I can load into an earlier save or anything. Yeah. Well, you know what? The nothing ventured, nothing, nothing. gained. Nothing. Yeah. No. Uh, no talcum powder. Ugh. I wonder if it. I, I mean, I'm just guessing at this point. But I feel like it might be saying there's so much putty in the world right now. You don't need to well, make I only have one putty. Oh, that is true. New customization unlocked. Wow. Congratulations. Wow. New customization. I'm going to start declining unlocked. quests so that other new ones can pop up. Yeah, I mean, it's not like anybody could get any angrier with me anyway, so. I have also been declining them. We make money and we have nothing to spend it on at this point anyway. We might as well use it to bribe them if we need it. Valid point. Valid point. Actually, what am I at financially speaking? 415. It's a lot of money. Tub of bleach. Sure, I'll grab the tub of bleach because that could lead into something. Fair. Um, okay, I gotta go do my job first. Did you beat up somebody and leave them in front of the camera? Uh, I don't believe so. Then cop did it. Move it, old Mathis. Get away from that desk. <laughs> They're mad at you. I'm just, it's because I'm not doing my job. I wish, I mean, this is kind of a petty complaint considering they fixed a lot of the stuff that I was genuinely complaining about, but... I wish that if you had the item you need to use one of the work crafting tables, it just pulled it from your inventory and put it on there instead of you having to navigate to it. Yeah, I agree. Relatively minor. A lot of little minor. quality of life things, man. I, I get the feeling like that's so trivial to do that it was probably a design decision to not have it work that way, but still. Here, hey, let's hit up the two man desks for a second. I think you just, yep, you're already there. Got it. Are you stuck? Let's do it. I'm just wanting to wait for the guard. Okay. Ruka, why are you so spooked, buddy? I don't Nothing think these, here. I don't think these desks respawn. No. This cat, you are a bad cat, right? <laughs> Get out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. 
That's fine. He jumps on the... Oh, hello, officer. He jumps on the uh, computer, and then, like, when I pull him off, he digs his claws into the grating. It's like the perfect cat climbing wall. <laughs> Cats, man. They're crazy. So annoying. There's a submarine up here? Wait a minute. A submersible? A submersible? You doing, Susan? How do we get this? Diagramming the sub submersibles. All right, free time. My um, favorite. What the? Charlie. Hit and run, buddy? Not on my watch. You want to you wanna try something sketchy? Yes. I don't know how this is going to work. There, it looks like the submarine over here has a way, is, is only accessible via, okay, see this red door here? Yeah. Look, there's a two-person door right there. Yeah. And if you come over here, look, there's a submarine hanging right there. Ooh. Do you want to try it? Do we need cutters to get through this? No, well, like, we, what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to grab our red keys, come over here. Yeah. We're going to grab our door. red keys and go through here. We're going to put our guard outfits on, red keys, go through here, open the door for each other. And then go up the stairs and see what that's about. Sure. Okay. Okay. Tonight? Let's try it. We can try it right now. Okay. Let's do it. As long as I don't miss I'm my down. job. <laughs> you might. You might miss your job. I don't know how to get back to our home base, though. Uh, We can do it this way. I don't think we have to. The whole time, by the way, I thought I was going up the stairs. We're actually going down. So I'll just, I'll, I can't even imagine what the comments are going to say. They're going to be yeah, like, I don't know. you've been thinking that both staircases go up. One of them goes up. One of them goes down. All right. Here's what you need. Guard so out. put on, put on the guard outfit right now. Just put it on. Red key. Take the red. Take the contraband pouch as well. And uh, put on, put on the guard outfit. Do we need to put things in the contraband pouch? No, the contraband pouch just has to be in your inventory. And it'll hide all contraband. Yeah. You got your red key? Yes. Contraband pouch. Yes. How do I? I'm gonna grab the go. the sea sickness band just in case. That's a great idea. Okay. You looking good as an officer? Let's go. Uh, how do we get there? Uh, we're being I'm being shot. No, I punched you. Oh Jesus, that scared the crap out of me. I was like, wait, what's going on? It's bugging out. Okay, so it's up the stairs. No, it's down there. No, right? No. no, no. no. What? Well, the cops don't say. They just say, hey, what's up? She was looking they at think you're. Way. Is this the right way? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I hope this is gonna work. All right. Good. Go through. Pop it open. Okay. Let me pop this. Hang on. I'm gonna check. Yeah. Let's go upstairs. Let's go upstairs. What is this? How do we do this? Oh, we might need a box. There's a crane. We need the box to get up on, to get into the crane, to drop the... Maybe. Okay. How intriguing. Hey, let's see what's in here. Wire cutters and then a... Well, I have wire cutters. I could go in there. Yeah, do it. But it... All right. Big old generator or something. Nope, I can't actually do anything to them. Is it... It's an electric fence? No, that doesn't make any sense. Um, oh, I'm remember sorry. When we go, whenever you go in and out of the red doors, hey, I'm gonna check something. Up it here. takes uh, key card. Yeah, it takes ten percent okay. off of your your key card. How? So you, that crane clearly will move. The submersible. The submersible, but I, I guess you need to make like a box to get up top of it. Okay, let's go. I can't be late for work. My boss is gonna read me out, dude. Well, you're gonna have to go back to your cell and change. Why? <laughs> oh, I mean, you yeah. don't have to. Can I just do the job in this uniform? All right, we got. I'm gonna run back. It's lunchtime. It's we'll lunchtime anyway. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, you're good. Hey, howdy there, officer. Oh, shoot. How much time? I have 30% of my key left. Okay, that's not much. 30%? Yeah. Oh man, I got 70. 60. How do I get back to Sesame Street? My okay, it's upstairs, upstairs, upstairs. Uh, 
Hello, it is me. Did I miss lunchtime? No, okay. Please to be consuming the food now. <laughs> okay. All right. I might miss lunch, which is gonna be a bit of a pain. Honestly, it's worse for you than it is for me. Actually, hang on. Yeah, just in time. Oh, it's shower time right. today. Anyway, shower. Yeah, you got a lot of time. How do we make a box to stand on? Is that something we have to make? Several table legs. We made it. Well, we made the crate. No. We made the crate last time. I'm just looking. Maybe a makeshift ladder? Mmm. No, no, no. That sounds exactly correct. Yep. That's three paint cans, and we can get up and reach it. Oh, okay. Well, if you can get three paint cans, we can make a makeshift ladder. Would you like to speak to me? <laughs> no paint cans there. I'm gonna do my job, then I'll search for paint cans. We could try the submarine, man. We can make it yeah, work, maybe. I'm for it. I'm afraid my red key, though, is gonna be worthless now, because I only got three more uses of it. Well, as long as it works the first time. True. All right, let's do it. Let's give it a shot. Oh. What? It's not where I, my it's job is. Oh, neither are mine. <laughs> I'm like, wait, where, where am I going? I just wanna, I wanna win this prison. At this point, just to spite this prison, I wanna be out. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, it would feel good. I mean, yeah. We, we didn't, like, use the cheesy strat, necessarily, at least. Which is what strat? Well, I don't even know, like, in center perks though, it was like it was obvious, right? Like, this is just what we need to do here. Mm -hmm. Well, in the first prison that we did, it was even worse. Rattlesnake <laughs> prison was messed up. <laughs> it was just like, hey, uh, you made it. <laughs> By the way, you're All free. Right. You're you're good. You can go now. No. We we dug this entire mining oh, thing yeah, for yeah. you. Yeah, yeah. All right. Well, I'm gonna start searching other desks, I guess. Now we've got twice as many opportunities to be disappointed that they don't have what we need. Right. I swear to God, if we don't even have one paint can, I'm gonna be upset. I, I would be upset. I'm gonna be fair to this, please. Nothing and you, you can't refresh a key by just giving it like, you know, molten plastic no. on top of an already used key. Mm -mm. You have to, you have to make a brand new key. Lazy game devs, man. <laughs> so lazy. So far, no paint cans. I've got this whole floor. All right, no paint cans on this floor. All right, I'm, I'm on the bottom floor. Guaranteed talcum powder right off the bed. I thought we already searched them. <laughs> yeah, that would be a surprise. Oh, wait, they're paint cans, like the purple ones. Yes, paint oh, cans, okay. purple. God dang it. <laughs> no paint cans. Nothing. Nothing. Surely Ugh. one of these guys. Come on. That cup was supposed to be a gift. No. <laughs> you got free time. Hey. Okay. He's getting beaten up. This guy is. Why the ear? Nothing. Oh, my. Do we make our risky escape attempt tonight? What do you think? I don't know, man. Oh, she's holding know. a paint can. Yeah, go ahead, beat her out. Uh, I wish you <laughs> hadn't phrased it like that. <laughs> beat her out. You know, you know what I meant. Nice. No, can't can't take. It's it. in her weapon slot. It's in her weapon oh, slot. You got it. You got it. You got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. One. We need two more. I mean, the cops could be holding. Sometimes talcum the, powder. Sometimes they have. Uh... <laughs> no. Nope. Nothing. Oh! Oh, as Jesus! As soon as he saw me, he just popped off. <laughs> well, that'll do that. 
Man, do we want to do a risky escape? I think we should wait it out for one more, to be honest. Okay. One more episode? Yeah. And then, right. like, then we'll have a backup, uh, presumably by that point, powder or two paint cans. And we can have okay. a backup plan to the backup plan to back up my backup plan. <laughs> I feel like we're so close. Like, I can taste it. Well, that's the thing. Like, we, freedom. we could, like, try it. But whenever you hear about people getting caught when they escape from prison, it's always like they just didn't think it through. Right. They're, they're always like, you know, I, I didn't think about what would happen when I got two miles down the road. We got to have <laughs> it all under control. The, the only problem is, like, we have these plans, but if any one of them fails, we're back to square one with supplies. Yeah, exactly. And that's the problem. Emerson, why can't you have anything useful ever for sale? I'm sick of it. I'm sick of checking in on you and seeing what you're selling, and you're always selling the same thing. Stop selling, man. Just be more useful. Oh, oh. oh okay. So let me, let me walk you through something that I, I like. This game, something that never could have gotten through QA. I'm down here minding my own business. I get attacked. The camera sees it, and the cop sees it. The cop goes and investigates the footage from the camera instead of coming over and just handling the situation himself. <laughs> I get, He's like, I can look at the, the flow chart and see exactly how that happens, but that's not the way it should happen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> hang on a second, let me check the tape, make sure it's exactly what I thought I saw. Officer! <laughs> Officer! What? What is going on? I'm being victimized. <laughs> oh my god, there's just this chaos just happening. Are you just getting punched randomly? I'm throwing punches at everybody <laughs> coming in up the staircase just to, just to mess with them. I'm a, pr I'm a prankster like that. <laughs> well, now the cop is playing a prank on you, so. Yeah, well, get pranked, son. Well, that'll be the end of this episode. Yeah, you can't find me because I'm in my bed anyway. Well, for now, thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button, it helps out a great deal. Of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. But for now, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you next time. Goodbye.